because they're eating foods that are fortified yeah. with vitamins and minerals, which your body does not always recognize. If you take a box of pasta and say it's been fortified with iron, you take that in, it's not going to process in your body the way it would if you ate a steak because that is readily available heme iron. It goes directly into your bloodstream and is immediately usable. Your body does not have to change it into some other compound to, work on the to then become so. a usable form of iron. Right. So, right. And a lot of times too, there's been a lot of information, especially recently, that the RDA needs to be changed for people who practice a different lifestyle because the RDA requirements that we have right now are based on people who are practicing the standard American diet and not everyone is doing that anymore, even people who are vegans. So everyone who's practicing an alternative lifestyle does not necess necessarily fall into the old parameters of the RDA. And those, those guidelines were based on the standard American right. diet and all the crap that we were eating right. as part of the standard American diet. So yes, there was deficiencies because you're eating all this junk. Right just as part of our standard American diet. And so, yes, you need to get all this stuff supplemented and whatever. Exactly. But again, as Sarah mentioned, if you're doing keto, I mean, you're eating whole foods. You're well, eating... it's got a picture of oranges, so I can assume that they may be also talking about scurvy, but I have never personally known anyone practicing the ketogenic diet that has gotten scurvy from lack of vitamin C. Yeah, Meat is actually a very good source of vitamin C. Right. <laughs> So that is definitely a misconception. Right. All right. So next one was elevated heart rate. Yes. I thought that one was kind of peculiar. Well, you know, your heart rate can become elevated anytime that you are practicing a diet of any kind. Because, any diet. Any diet. Okay. Because you're revving up your metabolism and likewise your heart rate can become elevated to, you know, go along with that. So anytime you're in a weight loss situation where your body is actively losing weight that can elevate your heart rate so that's not necessarily uh, just a correlation with the ketogenic diet that can be any weight loss program that you undergo because your body is undergoing metabolic changes which then can change uh, blood pressure and heart rate temporarily so that's not and they, necessarily and they kind of talk about they try to allude it to that also you may that may be part of being dehydrated. Right, which we're gonna talk about a little bit more on the next well. point. So, yeah. so again, you know, when I read that about the elevated heart rate, I'm like, yeah, I think you're just reaching because you need six points. Yeah. And so, <laughs> all right. It's kind of the same as the next point anyway, with the severe Severe hydration. dehydration, okay. So, I don't know anyone that would allow